guys for this tutorial. This is a PS3 custom cold boot tutorial. Now, when I show you, I already have a pre made uh, file for my custom cold boot. So, if you don't know what that is, I'll, um, I'll just simply show you what it is real quick. First off, make sure you're signed out. And you will need Rebug Toolbox for this. So, if you don't have it, download the link from the description below. And then, once you've downloaded it, put it on the root of your USB, plug it in your PS3, and install the package file. And once you do, open it up, go down to restart system, and do full on slash off cycle. And we will also be doing this for whenever we are, um, whenever we are done with our custom cold boot logo. But if you don't know what that is yet, you're about to find out. See, now it's when your PS3 does that. Whenever you have your custom picture come up right here, like PlayStation 3 or whatever, it lets you customize it to make whatever you want. So, I'm going to show you how you can make a custom one for it and then use it. First off, on your PS3, you need to continue on with going on your PS3. Make sure you don't sign in. Just launch Rebug and leave it hovering over um, leave it hovering over the uh, restart system on off cycle thing so right there sit down the remote and now we're going to go on to our computer so I'll meet you back there and sorry about the little bit of a blur guys not my other camera that I mean to use so it's not going to look really good okay now first off that we're back at the computer all you gotta do is um make a cold boot logo for your PS3 and what you're gonna do is download and install Adobe Photoshop CS6 extended edition and then you're going to uh, go to file go to new and then whenever the little box comes up which I'll show you since I'm able to make one right now uh, when this comes up name it whatever you want make sure that you change this to, pic to pixels and this one then type in for the height 1080 and the width 920 and then make sure this is RGB color this is 8-bit and then make sure the background content is uh, transparent then click OK and it'll create your new file then you need to click the T and just click anywhere and uh, type in what name you want whatever you want it to say and then whenever you're on this choose your uh, custom uh, font style and then once you've done that uh, click on this and then go to 3D I don't know what it's doing right now but uh, you go to the 3D tab and uh, you click something hold on I'm going to pause it real quick while it's acting weird Okay, then what you guys want to do is, once you've uh, got it open and you make your new file, you should see like a white square, just like this, but only without any writing. Um, and then I'm just gonna reposition this with um, this. But anyways, you click this and you drag it, make the font you want, the font style, and um. And then once you make the font style and the size, then you go to 3D and new 3D extension or extrusion from select layer, sorry. And I don't know why it's saying that, but I already made this one, so I don't have to worry about it. But anyways, um, over here you're going to have like a little line with an arrow pointing down on it. That's where you drag it to make it how thick of a, um, how thick of a uh, thing you want like that. That's how I see mine. So this is how I would want to save it, if that's how I want it, because that was working in, um, pretty much you just click on it, and then there's a little line over here that you drag it to make it thick and, like, way out here or way over here, and then you have a little box that you choose a preset to make it look like a chromish looking color glow. Now there's also um, the color text, which is a little color box. And then once you're done, you just click on File, 
save as and then once you save it as you uh, choose PNG type and type in whatever name dot PNG and once it's right here you need to open your um your PSV cold boot uh, tool the name of it is um easy static graph converter just open that and what we're going to do is open it and open this file in it, convert it, and there's a new folder for us, which is going to be our dot wrap file that we uh, use because it's going to be our cold boot file. So you just need to scroll through and find yours, find it right there. Okay, now that it's there, click specify output, convert, then it's going to say choose a location, desktop, okay. And then it's going to uh, convert, I'll come up when it's done. And now that it's done, um, what we're going to do is open our new folder. And you also need to download and install FileZilla now. And on your PS3, since it is on Rebug Toolbox, it's already fine. So we just need to open FileZilla and connect to it. If you don't know how to find it, click on System Information and you can find your IP address. Type it in Host and click Quick Connect. Then go to Dev underscore Rebug, DSH, Resource. And then scroll down until you see coldboot.raf. Now over here, we're going to open our folder for our coldboot, and we're going to get our customized one and drag and drop. Also, here's the preview of it. So this is a preview of what mine's going to look like. Not necessarily with that background, but that is what it's going to look like. So I can just always open it up and edit whatever I want. And uh, who knows? I'll probably make it a little bit cooler. I'm waiting for a real GFX person to make one. But anyway, you just drag and drop it, and it's going to ask you to write it, hit OK. When it says directory listing successful, you can just click on that, and on this, and I'll meet you guys back from the PS3. So, see you there.
Hey guys, I'm going to back at our PS3 as you can see here. I'm recording this is my computer, you see, as a reflection. Sorry about that, but anyways, what you're going to do is, um, since we already did the file placement, click on Restart System for On Off Cycle, and it's going to restart with the custom cold boot logo that we just made and replaced on our PS3. And as you can see, it is a custom phone, but a little bit too big. Got to reduce it maybe to like about 52 and get it looking a little bit better. Um, I had the volume down, sorry. But anyways, that's my custom phone logo for right now until I get a new one from Real Personal GFX. If you guys know anyone, please let me know. If they pay, let me know the price if it's pretty good. And if you think it's worth it, if not, then don't. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.